Now, well, we're going to go with Survivor, because I see no reason to drop the difficulty, even though I keep losing. But I keep learning every time I lose. And Apocalypse... Eh, I feel Apocalypse is, is on a level of I need to be stealthy that would make streaming a little bit rough. Like, I'm not good enough to still be active and getting out there and doing things whilst being as afraid of the zombies as, as I feel I would need to be in apocalypse mode. It's a zombie apocalypse already, isn't it? Uh, well, I mean, yeah, that's, that is quite true. Uh, let's see. But I share the problem of extremities being very a very different temperature. Yeah. I think everyone has that a little bit. I think everyone has that a little bit. And Xantos, that is incredibly kind of you. Well done, babe. Jilchen Vaud Young. Hey, yo, uh, Dark Angel, MZ. Yeah, that would be a stream of going to a ranger station or a fishing shack and crying in the bathroom the whole time you play Apocalypse. Yeah, no, exactly. I'm, I'm nowhere near a good enough player of this to tangle with Apocalypse mode. I can play ultra difficult runs on Cataclysm and, and, and similar games where I've got, a, you know, well, let's be honest, hundreds and hundreds of hours in it. I can play Randy Random, uh, Blood and, uh, sorry, losing is fun. That's fine. I I know how to game the system enough to to negate some of the unfair advantage the AI has. But this game, I have no idea. And yes, Cataclysm is... It feels weird to say. It, it, it feels weird to say it like this, but playing Zomboid is making me want to play Cataclysm. Like, Every single stream of Zomboid, every single time I play Zomboid, a little bit more of me wants to play Cataclysm. It's going to happen that we're eventually going to have two runs side by side, Cataclysm and Zomboid. It's just going to have to happen. Uh, any chance of CK3 or Stellaris YouTube and the X-Pack and Patchful drop? Uh, there is a better than average chance of CK... In fact, there's pretty much a 100% chance of a CK3 run, yes. Should we start somewhere other than Muldraw or Rosewood? If I was going to do that, chat, which one would you suggest? Which one would you suggest? That is my issue with Zombite. I always end up feeling like I could be playing Cataclysm, and then I do. Not that Zombite is bad, but... Well, see, Demi, my thing with Zomboid is that it's got less of a simulation depth to Cataclysm, but it's also more consistent than Cataclysm. Let's, let's be absolutely honest here cataclysm and zomboid zomboid is a consistent experience cataclysm is a bouncing off the wall sometimes stuff is ultra realistic at other times it is just complete full-on um soft sci-fi and there's because it's such a, a great swell of content in the world the theming is all over the place Like, in one moment, you might be, like, serious surviving in a woods mode, and then you'll just, like, bump into Eldritch Horrors, or you will be just searching houses and just random, you know, Jacques Hammer. Oh, it pops up, and you're like, eh. West Point is the densest area, but Riverside is pretty spread out. Hmm, okay. Yeah, oh, yeah, I can see what you mean by Riverside being pretty spread out. Uh, hiking the banks of the mighty Ohio, exploring Riverside is such a, uh, is a rich and diverse experience. I mean, we could try. Um, I'm not sure I see many two-story buildings, but we could definitely try Riverside. I love Riverside. That is my most favorite star spot. Okay, well, in, uh, in honor of Filthy Fee, we will go there. Now, I intend to try and make a character that will survive. So we're gonna go with uh, Burglar. Louisville is now in the game. It's in the North End. Oh yeah, yeah, I've seen a couple of people mention that, yeah. Yeah, there, there, there are places outside of it. Maybe we will make our way up there. I definitely feel that being Burglar will significantly increase my chances of survival. Being an outdoorsman greatly increases my chances of not being, you know, messed up by poor 
uh, by, by poor weather. It, it's going to make me not hide in the house because it's raining, basically. But we're going to need to buy eight points worth at least for just these two. So, right then. So, no. All right. My focus right now is going to be trying to be um, a more... More buildy character, so we'll we'll roll with this. That's fine. Yeah, no, quote ten is solid life advice. You don't need context to understand that 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 is genuinely useful advice. Do not stick your genitals into alligator mouths. You don't need to know where that quote came from. You just need to follow the advice given. Okay. Okay. Now this is good. We'll roll with this. Prone to illness, weak stomach, slow reader, underweight, slow healer. I mean, slow healer is literally my get good option. Just don't get cut. High thirst might be a problem later on. All right. Let's get out there. Uh, also, uh, assuming we get through this, I will... Uh, sorry, assuming we die quickly, I will be open to some mods, but only like, uh, like mods that allow us to have uh, more details with the models, that sort of thing. No, no game mechanic changes. But I would, I would be okay with like more hair options, for example. All right. Actually, oh, before I do anything, let me let me go ahead and save this. It's the builder burglar. Oh, I've changed. I've changed the color of my shirt. Um, I've gone for a very purple theme. Why? I have no idea. Let's not have purple shoes, though, okay? There is a point where you've got to just, like, no. Also, brown shoes with blue jeans? No, 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 no. We'll just go with that. It's fine. Play. Watch out. <laughs> Belial, Belial has, has now mentioned the quotes in a couple of different ways. Belial, Belial is trying to, to gently steer you away from the dread, the dread fall into the oubliette that you are rushing towards. Okay, let's have a look then. A bit foggy outside, isn't it? Alright. Let's close these curtains. Shift tappy. Why not? What is it? Close curtains. Tap shifty. There we go. Right, what we got in here? Uh, not my type of thing. A denim shirt, though? Oh, a leather jacket already. Nice. Insulation's pretty good. Wind resistance less, so water resistance is pretty nice, though. Bite and scratch resistance is solid. Sure, that's a way. Okay. I believe there's a there's a key to tab between these. I'm slowly getting better with the uh ooh, strawberry blonde hair dye. Can I actually dye my hair in this game? <laughs> I 
I love the idea that I can dye my hair strawberry blonde if I want to. Oh, truly. Truly, this is the best of times. No, that is not quite what I meant to do. Uh, close curtains. Shift tappy. No, that's not what you did. There we go. And close the window through the curtains, really. Okay. Um... No idea what time it is. Ah, oh, sure. Leave that on. I don't have a TV in this house. Oh, no. We, there we go. Never let the music stop, chat. Device options. Turn on. Which your thirst. Etc, etc, etc. Revenge, thank you very much for the gift sub, mate. Right, what, what have we got over here? Uh, Metalworking for beginners. Trapping for beginners. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Some some options there. Uh, let's turn that light off, though. We have got a washing machine. No dryer. It's a shame. We've got bowls. Good. Uh, this I want to place up here. So I can see it. Uh, the mug I don't need right now. Saucepan. I can put it outside to gather water. Meat cleaver. Now we are cooking with fire. Or indeed, you know, hacking with a meat cleaver. What type of weapon will this be considered? Does it, does it tell me anything about it? No, I don't think it does. Okay. I was not paying any attention to the messages from the government. I apologize, Jen. Uh, granola bars. Sure, I'll grab both. Uh, broccoli, carrots, cheese. Okay. We got some things. Uh, hey, Avak. Hey, chat. I didn't make it to the end of the last stream and had to watch it on the VOD, but I have to say, the ultimate biscuit. Okay, done now. <laughs> Zombie time. <laughs> Fair enough. Right. I'm gonna sneak out here. I should have checked my uh, my map really, but need a bin. And we're oh, there's a couple of zombies down there. Okay, duly noted. Couple over there, right yo, one by there. Uh, nothing too terrifying so far. Need to find me a watch though. Oh, there we go. We've got someone over there. Get down to the tree line if I can. Don't really want to draw that. Oh, we're next to some sort of shop. Okay. Duly really noted. This is a tall fence. Now, you might have seen me. I think you have, actually. Which is a bit of a pain. You're going to wander around to where I am right now. And what mode am I playing? Survivor. There's someone in there. Hey. Skirtings. It's a pot I would like. Close those curtains. Microwave as well. Cans, all sorts of bits and bobs. Uh, first and foremost, let me have a quick drink. Oh, they got some matches. Useful. Can opener, also useful. But I'm not going to grab all of this stuff right now. 
I am going to eat um, one granola bar. Look, right, what have we got over here? There isn't stuff on top of the fridge, it just looks like it, otherwise it would show it on the floor icon, I think. Unless I'm deeply mistaken. Nothing in there, muffin tray, a corkscrew, might be a useful little weapon there. I'm sure zombies don't like getting stabbed in the eye. Um, fresh pasta in a pot, we're going to want that pot. I need to explore this house fully first. Hockey stick. Now that's oh, okay. Limited impact when used one hand. So I'd need to use it two-handed. But I mean, you know, it's not a terrible one. Attach on my back. As a an emergency weapon, that's probably not a terrible one. Hey, Olifin. What we got in here? Toothbrush. Always protect your guns. Grab the towel just in case. Let's make sure I'm drinking from the not toilet. Any single book. Pants. Denim pattern. Uh, diamond pattern sweater vest. Look at you. Upper torso, lower torso. Uh, T-shirt. And that's it. Temperature-wise. Insulation's okay. I mean, maybe I could wear this. Let's check the other options first. Zines. Okay, no, no container yet, which is a bit of a problem for me. So ultimately, that's kind of what I need. But okay, there we go. Seem okay. Ah, perfect. Okay, uh, equip. Oh, sorry, um, where? Right, wrist good enough. It's good enough for now. V-neck sweater. I think that's fine. We'll leave that there. Ah, we've just missed the uh, one of the shows. Garbage bin over there. Well, the problem is it's surrounded by zombies. I can maybe peel some of them off. Ah, there we go. One of them. There's two bins over there, and two of them are heading out. That's right. Come on down. Nice trickle of you. That's perfect. That's right. How are you doing, Lee Finn? It's awesome to see you in chat, mate. Nice hit. Oh, a digital watch, nice. Okay, I will absolutely wear that right wrist. We'll drop this. Make sure that that doesn't have an alarm set. Uh, I kind of feel like setting an alarm though, but actually, yeah, I will set an alarm for 5.30 in the morning. Make sure I'm up for the cooking show. Or whatever show it is. Risk walking past this area, those zombies might notice me and they might not. I'm not inconspicuous. They haven't noticed me. Neither of you yet, and I don't see a point in getting into a fight just yet that I don't need to be in. There's every reason to clear out an area as you're moving through it later. 
But right now, not as much of one. Well, that's the main thing I wanted. Now, I don't really want any of these houses, to be perfectly honest. Oh, this is something I wanted to try for a little while. Zombie coming over a fence. Oh, there we go. Now, I hear that that is significantly more dangerous than it looked like just then. Still, I'm okay with the uh, with the effect. I've got some friends and I were playing Seven Days to Die. And I let slip, watch out for the zombies. And they were confused. Like, uh, the what? Oh, you said zombies. <laughs> Fantastic. You know what? I'm actually thinking that I need to get a zombie emote. I really, really am thinking I need zombie emotes. I'm going to talk. I'm going to talk with Jackie, see if she can make me some zombie wombles. I think it is required now. Alright, equip secondary. Yeah, dapper zomble, indeed. Right. I need a drink. Um... Going to move everything I can over to the other house. Do I need to? No. No, I don't. Am I going to? Yes, yes, I am. Quite a lot of his junk, and that's fine. I will leave it as junk, but. The first thing I'm going to do once we get back over there is I'm going to... Well, actually, I don't have a hammer. I need a hammer before I can do any of the really fun stuff. Uh, yeah, loot the fresh pasta and cooked. You know what? That pasta and cooked is going to be an issue. Uh, can I put anything in this? No, I can't. Okay, fine. I'll make make just regular pasta then. Uh, no, 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 no. I think I was actually trying to just pull the pasta out of the pot. Not quite what I wanted to do. Oh, oh, right. It's in the garbage bag, right? Okay. Thanks, Leafy, and always there to help me. No, 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 damn it. I'm pressing all of the wrong buttons. Right, there we go. While that's going on, let's go through all of this, find the really important stuff. Um, I'll grab that. Cooking, it's fine. That up. Now, I'm currently underweight, and I suspect that it shouldn't be difficult for me at all to adjust that. Uh, actually, why don't I just eat straight from there, thinking about it. Uh, can I not just eat it? Oh, okay, apparently I can't. Unpack. Oh! Oh, I was not putting it into the right container. That's an interesting quality. Can I just not eat the pasta? Uh. Jack, can you see a reason why I can't eat this pasta? I mean, I realize it's it's better when it's warm, but... Is my character the sort of person who will refuse to eat pasta in the apocalypse because it's not got sauce? 
Oh, yeah, it is cooked, yeah. Alright. Well, let's just loot all of this. Try this again. Steak in there, turn this on. Also, settings. 300 degrees. Cook pretty quickly. Uh, I should thaw pretty quickly. I'll see if I can add steak to the pasta. Look, okay, maybe I'm maybe I'm just being a bit of a fool, all right? But I kind of feel, oh yeah, we can just add meat. Okay, fair enough. I I just sort of feel that perhaps I shouldn't care that. It's pasta without meat. Oh my god, the world is over. Every The dead are getting up constantly and trying to turn me into food. Why would I care? It's like, ah, I've got a meal. I am doing better than, like, so much of the, the world. It's actually burning now. It's still going to make me unhappy, but apparently now I can eat it, though. It's fine. Let's just gobble it down. I'm full to bursting. Apparently there's still a decent bit of the pasta in there. Alright. But, on the plus side, because of that fantastic meal. I'm actually capable of carrying quite a lot of stuff now. Um, so let's have a look at what else is around. Sure. I'll come back for the microwave eventually. This I swear. But now it is unnecessary. Maybe come back for the TV as well, eventually. Was there anything in here that I wanted? Uh, sure, I can grab these. One of these days, I think it would actually be quite cool in like a multiplayer server to go ahead and like, you know, write a, a journal, a diary of some sort, and just leave it for someone to discover. I'd have maybe half a second thought about eating my pasta right next to a cops. Yeah, no, that's fair. That is a that actually makes sense. Like I I can completely I can completely agree with that. Alright, okay. I kinda want everything that is in any way perishable to be in the fridge. Uh sorry, the freezer. I, I just want it to be frozen. There's no reason not to freeze it. I'm assuming a granola bar isn't going to rot. I may be being a dumb. All of this. Freezer. If it can contain the perishables, the perishables should go in there. Bread. Freezer. Crackers. Probably freezer. Peanut butter. I guess it would depend on if it had been opened or not, really. But all of the rest of the foodstuffs can go in there, though. I guess I shouldn't put the coffee. Well, I guess I can put the coffee in. It's fine. Uh, however, I could also put the coffee in there. So let's move that across. There's a zombie out there that's going to annoy me. I should probably go and put it out of its misery. Out of my misery, perhaps. More to the point. There we are. Now, am I going to stay here? I uh, doubt it. This is an awful place to make my home, but I do very desperately want to experience the building in this game. So we'll see. 
we can at least try to fortify this place to some degree. To drink because I am constantly thirsty. Uh, clean this up. I like. If my dive into the wiki was any indication, cooking in this game is strange. You can put honey in a bowl and call it a salad, or put butter in a pan and call it a stir fry. Look, okay, I'm. <laughs> Let's just say that there are perhaps some. Um, uh, a bit of room for potential improvement, okay? Uh, I don't really see much point in putting things in here, but sure, we'll pop them in there. The rags can go in there. Anything that is kind of random, I will leave in there. Oh. Robot Laboratory? Okay. Do the robot. Yes. Okay. Uh, vote for Cal Fairweather. Vote for progress. We're gonna we're gonna listen and we're gonna watch at the same time. Uh, I've got someone with something new. Twiggy, you there? Sure am. Figured you'd want to hear from someone from the inside. I live in West Point. Own a bar. I went away to visit a cousin, but the night before? Weird stuff. Helicopters flying low over us to mull draw. We get that stuff. We're an army town. Save those boys most nights. Uh, serve those boys most nights. It just seemed out of place. Next day I'm coming back. It's no go. Thanking God I had my wife and dog with me, I guess. Else I wouldn't be seeing them for a week. Dog's been sick, so glad she's with me. I don't know how long this dang thing will take. Oh dear. Was the dog sick when you took her out? Do you know? I'm afraid I do not. Thanks for your call. Okay. Sleep well, Hobbs. Right, I'm going to try and get some sleep. I'll let the dulcet tones of Avex's voice and the groans of the restless dead lull me into restful sleep. Enjoy, buddy. Enjoy. Okay, so we got a little bit of fishing experience that will probably be incredibly important for us later on. All right, what were we doing? Um, anything that isn't used for cooking can go in here. I know makeup and stuff can go in the in the. A bathroom. Do we actually have a bathroom cabinet? We do, so okay, fine. We'll, we'll take the toothbrush and stuff over there. Um, eye makeup as well. I'll go deal with that zombie eventually, but not right now. Let's move all of this across. I make up as your character a Bowie fan by any chance? I mean, who isn't? I wouldn't trust anyone who wasn't a fan of David Bowie. Probably a zombie that just is more human looking than than your regular zombie. But 100% not worthy of trust. Uh, I'm not going to wear the denim. Well, I could put the denim shirt on instead of my t-shirt, I suppose. Um, all right, sure. Problem is now I'm probably going to be over hot. Yeah. Yeah, I, I need to remove my t-shirt then. Uh, that will probably make me warm eventually. We'll see. Let's 
Let's grab the empty bowl. I do need a drink. Okay, I am perhaps seeing the problem with with uh, high thirst. <laughs> Maybe. I could create a salad, though. Um, hmm. How about we go ahead and, and create the salad, sure. I'm going to put some broccoli in there. Ah, delicious, fresh broccoli. Um, we'll add some carrots. We'll add some bread. Shall I just put everything in there? I, I suppose I could. And cheese. A cheesy, bready, broccoli, carrot salad. Ah, delicious. Uh, I could actually add more bread if I wanted, sure. Yum. Everything I'd ever wanted. Extra bready cheese. Truly, we shall live like kings. <laughs> Though it's now not going to make me happy to eat, actually. It's going to make me quite unhappy, in fact. Uh, nevertheless, it will actually do good for my hunger, so, you know, it can stay. Oh. No, it hasn't frozen yet. Okay. I could have put some things in, I guess. Uh, we'll leave the salad in here overnight. Um, you know what? I will add the bread in and the cheese. And... I'm going to leave them to thaw in the fridge, like overnight. Because I'm probably going to make something with them tomorrow. Uh, this can go up there as well. Ice cream can stay in there, so can the crackers. I don't think we're going to be using those elsewhere. Now, uh, do I want to go outside and deal with our zombie? I kind of do. And we're relatively light now, so we could easily afford to. See if we can't sneak up on him. They've been wailing on this door for a while. Old nose stud, leather jacket, kind of ruined though. Uh, tank top. I might rip these up, but first I want to check that there are no zombies on their way to me. Let's learn to be very stealthy, peeps. Oh, sneaking up. Alright. Not bad, not bad. Thing is, do I really want to be using this? It's starting to... Okay, I might want to instead focus on the hockey stick, if I'm perfectly honest. The only issue with the hockey stick is I can't wield the, uh, the bag with it, so... But that TV in there is not making making it easy. Let's see if I can't open this. Nice. First and foremost, device options. Turn it off. I'll eventually take that battery out of there. Anyone in here? Anyone in here? Anyone in here? No. Okay, perfect. Let's go and close the curtains. No. I need to get it. There we are. I need to get better at using just shortcut keys. Lightfoot has improved. Nice. No, there, no. Uh, let's get all of the curtains closed. Make 
sure the television is turned off. Okay, what we got in here? Uh, whatever. Loot all. There. Do we have any useful stuff in here? No, kind of junk, but I'll take it all anyway. I will, however, have a quick drink while I'm here. What about in here? What have we got? Shorts. And... Um, I'm going to strip these. Oh! Uh, no, I don't need a sweater vest. I really don't. Oh, I closed the kitchen curtain but left the window open. Thank you for that. I forgot that that is actually incredibly easy to do. My bad. Thank you. Let me move all these rags across. Same here. I'm going to finish off my granola bar. let scoff that down. Right. We're actually moving fairly light right now. We should be able to just loot this entire house and be out of here. What do we got? Um, do I really care for that? Not really. All of these as well, please. Might like an orange soda. Some cans. Short pancake mix. Seems quite delicious. Put all of these. And now we move everything into the bag. Is it at all sanitary to stick everything in there with bloody rags? No, but thankfully the game doesn't track it. Once it does, I will care. Or once I'm better at the game and I can start worrying about roleplay stuff, then I will also care. But for now, no. All right, out we go. Oh, no, that's not quite what I wanted to do. Actually, no, it is what I wanted to do, because I can go out the door. Right, we're just going to get in, drop things off, and go to bed. That is a group that I'm not happy about. Let's go drop off food first before anything else. Right. Freezer food. Category. Food. Bacon. Move that across. Uh, sure. Grapefruit. Yeah. All that. Move across. Peanut butter. Again, I'm assuming peanut butter is... I, like, it's sealed right now. If it's not, and you happen to know that it's not, chat, by all means, let me know. Because I'm assuming that it's just not going to go off until I open it. But I could easily be wrong. <laughs> like, ultra easily be wrong. This stamping on zombie heads is better than throwing records at them. Morning, Avak. Love to you and Lady Sheila. Hey, I'm in terms. Thank you, mate. Yeah, don't, obviously don't freeze... It in real life, but we are talking game logic here. Like, to a fairly large degree, game logic. So, I wouldn't necessarily worry about that. So, I, I, I assume. Do, again, do correct me if I'm wrong about this, chat. I'm assuming that I don't have to worry about that, but that's not to say that I don't. It's very possible that I'm making a dire mistake. And if so, please, please let me know. Uh, let's move one of them across. I don't need two on me, but I will keep a couple. Can opener can go in there now. Oh, actually, no, no, no. The can opener can go in the other, other place. Uh, we want the can opener in here along with the kettle. And the griddle pan. Frankly, I could use the griddle pan to just beat zombies to death with. So, there's that. Uh, let's wash the dirty rags. <laughs> 